Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the features and changes that Microsoft have been working on build 21.327 and we're also going to look at some of the most interesting changes from older releases down to build 21.296 for changes even older you can check some of my past videos with the link that I'm leaving in the video description below these changes are available through the dev channel and while they're not tied to any specific release of Windows most of them are expected to arrive with version 21H2 when it ships during the second half of 2021. Now let's have a closer look at the most important changes on build 21.327. Starting with build 21.327, Windows 10 includes new system icons using the Fluent Design language to help modernize some of the smaller parts of the operating system. The new icons are more rounded with a simplified design and you will find them across the start menu and the settings app. For example, in the start menu, you will find these new icons on the left navigation pane, as you can see right here. In the settings app, the Fluent Design icons are everywhere, including in the home page for each of the settings sections, as you can see right here. Inside of each of the section, the navigation pane also includes new icons for each of the pages. And also the new system icons can be found across many of the settings in the app. For example, if we go to the accounts section and then we go to the sign-in options page, you will find the new icons for specific settings, as you can see for password and picture password. Here's a closer look at some of the other Fluent Design icons that now are available on Windows 10. Windows 10 Build 21.327 also includes a new design experience for the news and interest widget that is available through the taskbar. And according to Microsoft, it makes it more delightful to scan and interact with headlines and stories on the feed. For some reason, I'm not getting the new design. This is a previous design that you see right here, but I can show you a screenshot of how that new design looks like. You can also see new share options and the ability to like and add your emojis to react to a particular story. If you click the see more news option, that will take you to the to the Microsoft News homepage that has also been redesigned to help you to catch up with the latest headlines. Also in this preview, the 64-bit version of PowerShell will be the new default architecture for ARM64 devices. And now let's look at some of the older changes. On build 21322, the 3D Objects folder is no longer a special folder in File Explorer. It used to be right here under Frequent Folders, but that's no longer the case. However, you can still browse to the Profile folder and you will still find that folder in this location. On Windows 10 Build 21.318, the clipboard experience, the one you open with the Windows key plus B keyboard shortcut, introduces a new paste as text option when opening the context menu for text-based entries, as you can see right here. When using this option, the content will paste as plain text without the original formatting. Also since build 21.296, Windows 10 ships with an updated version of the clipboard history that includes new options to pin and pen to pin, unpin, delete, and sync individual entries. Starting with version 21.313, Windows 10 removed the legacy version of Microsoft Edge and replaces it with the Chromium version of the browser, which means that you will no longer be able to use both browsers side by side, nor you will be able to bring it back. So for now on, it is just the Chromium version of Edge on Windows 10. Also, now there is a new modern icon for Navigator, as you can see right here. Also on Windows 10, now there is a new animation for opening apps, including for modern apps and legacy applications such as File Explorer. Just to improve the speed and make things a little smoother. Finally, on build 21.313, since preview builds on the dev channel are no longer tied to any specific version of Windows 10, Microsoft has changed the display version to just dev in the about page and throughout the operating system to avoid confusion. However, on the latest build of Windows 10, at least in my setup, for some reason there is not 
an about page. So I don't know if it is installation or Microsoft is doing something with this page and will return in future bills. However, I can open the run command and type WinBird and you can see that the version has changed to dev. On Windows 10 build 21.301, you will find some refinements for the touch keyboard experience, but Microsoft have been adding and removing them on many of the previews and they are not available at this time or at least in my setup. However, some of these changes include the ability to move the keyboard using the gripper region at the top of the interface, which is actually one thing that is available. And other things that are not available are on devices with a screen of 10 inches or larger, you will now see a more traditional keyboard layout with escape key, tab, windows key, and some other tweaks, as you can see right here. Other improvements include when undocking the keyboard, it now changes automatically to the smaller layout. So this will be the small layout. And finally, the touch keyboard, now centers and show only a maximum of five candidates to make it easier to process the displayed information when typing. In addition to all these new features and improvements, the taskbar also gets some tweaks. For example, now when you right click an app and you right click a document, you will now see an option to open that file and to open the file location, something that was not available before. Also, the backend dictionary has been updated to improve spell checking and text prediction relevance. And you no longer need administrator privileges to enable or disable the touchpad. And that's pretty much all that Microsoft have been working on from build 21.327 down to build 21.296. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to your channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.